Hi everyone, my name is Lucy and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of Nottingham. Halfway through third year, my course moved from being a clinical placement to being entirely online and so I have had many weeks experience of online learning. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about how online learning actually works and how you can make the most of it while you're at the University of Nottingham. So first things first, I'm going to show you around Microsoft Teams. Now you can download the Microsoft Teams app onto your laptop when you get to university University, and essentially this is where you will have any online webinars. The main two features I want to show you on the Microsoft Teams app is first this section where it has all of the teams that you're in. So if you're in a particular seminar group or something like that, then likely you will have a team set up for that. So this is where your lecturer or your tutor will communicate with you when the sessions are going to be and there might be opportunities for you to ask questions on there and to contact other members of your team. I also wanted to show you the calendar feature so this is where all of your webinars will show up so you can see all of your past and future teaching sessions so when you actually get invited to a teaching session you will get invited by email and in that email there will be a link now you can access the online teaching through that link or what I tend to do is use this calendar to join the actual teaching sessions in the email invitation your lecturer will probably tell you how they want you to interact in the team's meeting so it might be that you have a small group session and is very interactive and in these sessions you might have your camera and your microphone on so you can actually interact with the lecturer and with other members of the group but there's kind of this team's etiquette that when you're not speaking you turn your microphone off as it just decreases the background noise and it improves the quality of the call. However if you are in a large scale lecture for example and there's like a hundred of you in it then you might be asked to keep your microphone and your camera turned off. In these situations if you are asked to interact or you want to ask a question then you can use the chat feature to type a question in or the lecturer might prefer you to use the raise hand feature so when you click on this hand it kind of indicates to the lecturer that you want to ask something however don't worry about this because the person running your teaching session will likely tell you how they want you to interact the next thing I wanted to show you was Moodle so Moodle is basically the University of Nottingham's online platform and this is where you'll be able to find all of the learning materials that you need for your course these are structured into different modules and as you can see with mine we actually had our teaching structured into different days of the week so for example we had certain number of things set to do on Monday and then different things to do on Tuesday and it just enabled us to structure our week really nicely and there's a very wide range of online learning resources that you might be using so often you will get lecture slides in the form of a PowerPoint and the lecturer will record themselves speaking over the slides and you'll be able to play the audio on each slide to hear what the lecturer is saying some lecturers will just upload a past lecture that they've given so it will be sort of like a 50 minute long video and you'll be able to see them clicking through the slides as you go through it there might also be PDF documents for you to read and you might have quizzes to complete. We had a quiz set every week at the start of the week and the end of the week so that we could test our knowledge and check that we were learning as the week went on. From Moodle you can also access the university's online library. So basically if you navigate to where it says NU search you can then type in the title of the book you're looking for or the particular article you're looking for whatever it may be and then you can almost always find it online somewhere. So if you do like using textbooks to support your learning you will still be able to use the books that are on offer in the libraries. So now I just wanted to talk a little bit about how you can make the most out of online learning and actually some of the benefits that there are for learning online rather than going into lectures. So the first point to mention is that it gives you so much more flexibility. So obviously some of your webinars will be scheduled and they will be on Teams but what I found is that the majority of my lectures have just been put onto Moodle for me to just complete in my free time and you really can use it to your advantage to enable you to work at the time when you feel you are most productive. Now I'm able to choose when I actually sit down to do my lectures it means that I can take a break when I need one and I don't need to just sit in a lecture theatre for hours on end when I'm not really taking in the information anymore. Doing lectures online also means that you can do them at your own pace. When I would sit all day in a lecture theatre I would often struggle to keep up with taking notes from the PowerPoint, also listening to what the lecturer is saying and trying to scribble down all the information but when you do lectures at home you can just pause the recording so if 
if you want to listen back to something again, you haven't quite understood something, it's really easy to do that. I think it just makes the whole process of note taking so much more efficient because you're not having to sit through the lectures once and then come back home and then have to go through them all again to make your notes. You are able to just do everything all in one go. Another benefit of online learning is the ability to be able to ask questions as you go. I have found myself asking questions on the Microsoft Teams chat feature way more than I would have done if I was sat in a lecture. It can be very intimidating when you're in a big lecture theatre surrounded by people and you have to put your hand up and speak directly to the lecturer. But on Microsoft Teams it's definitely a lot less intimidating to just type your question into the chat. To really make the most of online learning though I would definitely recommend that before you have a webinar online that you do the reading that is required or you prepare yourself, you look through the resources on Moodle before you join it. This is because in small group seminars you probably will be asked some questions and you will be expected to interact and share what you've learned so it's important that you do actually know what's going on when you're in those webinars and it means that you're able to participate more fully if you actually do understand the content. Finally I think another point to make is that because you're not going into physical lectures it can feel like you've lost a bit of that sense of community because you're not actually mixing with all of the people and you're kind of having to communicate just through a screen. But to combat this then make sure you join any group chats that are made so for example I have a group chat that I'm in that has all of the medics in our year group and it just means that if we get stuck with anything or there's a technical issue with some of the online learning resources then you can just pop a message into the group chat and someone might be able to give you a solution and it just gives you that sense of belonging that you are still part of the year group and you're part of the university even though you may not be physically in the university buildings as much as you thought you would be. So I hope you have found this video helpful and if you're starting at the University of Nottingham this year then I just want to say good luck to you all. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to subscribe to my personal YouTube channel then it's called Lucy Brett and you can also follow me on Instagram where I post all about university life and medical school. So thanks for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!